Yeah, today was really good. I had some help from a teammate and I uh, just got the job done. So what is the plan for Danny to go out? Um, you know, one of the things I love about our team is that we really respect when we go to the start line that everybody has their own race and their own strategy. And so um, Danny and I certainly both discussed that what was better for both of us was for it to kind of be honest, you know. Uh, but she certainly had her race and I had mine and uh, we both just did our best to get through. When the race was over, you had your arm around Danny. What were you saying? Um, you know, I, I looked up on the board and knew that she was sixth, and I just told her, don't be rattled yet, you know. I mean, if you're sixth in the first heat, you're in. So just act like you're in until you're out. And she's still in right now with the second heat over, and um, yeah, I, I, she knows I wouldn't want to be her. Being sixth in the first heat is a really tough spot to be, but maybe I can make it 1% easier by giving her a friend in it. Does it feel any different coming in to this meet this year with Shelby, you know, having beat, I know you lost a couple Americans free last year as well, right. you know, 359 over the close cost time. I guess you face Shan as well in Boston. Like, does it feel different coming in with someone that close to your ability uh, in this game? Yeah, it's tempting to let something get into your head and let someone um, be a factor in your mind as you prepare. But as you just described, um, I have a lot of practice at that and not allowing that to really, you know, be an earworm in your mind because I've had so many really good competitors over the years, starting on this track years and years and years ago with Anna Willard. So. Um, from the very beginning of my career, I've always had someone right there with me, and so I have a lot of practice with having been beaten and not letting that uh, defeat me, I guess. Yeah, I'm wondering, uh, maybe you want to play a cause close to the best, but you know, she closed in, I think, 28 in a race that was won in 359, which is obviously right. tough. How, how do you beat that in the final? You beat it by being fitter. You just get fitter. And I think sometimes, especially with the mental game in in these types of races, it's it's so tempting to think that there's a trick to it. And I went home after that and said, I just got to be in better shape than anyone else in the race. And that's how I try to come to USA's. Obviously, that's not always, that's a dream, right? That's the dream scenario. Um, so it doesn't always work that way. But I... My, my goal every season is to come to the starting line thinking I wouldn't rather be anybody else. I'd put my own money on me. And so uh, I trained really hard to have that confidence two days from now. But that being said, every single step is important. And so I was nervous for today. I, I wanted to get today done well and done right. Um, and so most of my focus has been on this race. Um, and now I get to really shift that focus over to uh, the final. Can you talk about just what it means to come back to this track that you know well so much better than a lot of competitors here? Yeah, I was standing on the starting line and they're announcing the world medals and the U.S. championships. And then I just, when I heard the, the two-mile American record run here just a few weeks ago, it brought a smile to my face because it just was really such a fun experience. I came in knowing that I wanted to run well here. I wanted to set a record um, on this specific track, uh, but the experience was just far more magical than I imagined. And one of one of the great memories I'll take um, at, when my career is over. So anyway, having that be the last feeling is that kind of love on this track. It just feels really good to be back. Are you on autopilot as soon as you touch down in Des Moines? Um, not exactly on autopilot because there's nothing like coming to the U.S. Championships. There's nerves. Uh, there's you know you have an agenda. You have something you're you're trying to do. So uh, I'll be on autopilot when I get to see my grandparents after race is over. <laughs> All right.